Hey, this is Alex from Dominator Tech. Uh, this is a video of just a quick overview of the gaming rig I've recently finished building. Uh, just to start off, it's a Thermaltake Armor Series case with the 25 centimeter fan on the side. Uh, just a little uh, case overview to start. It has um, these two nice little front panels that I painted blue. It's got uh, the one blue fan on the intake, 120 uh, millimeter. But I added the second one just for an extra little bit of airflow going on in there. It has the, uh, usually it'll have a little plastic shroud on here, but I decided to uh, take it off so I could allow more airflow from this top exhaust fan here. Uh, it's got the little um, USB, Firewire, audio, and mic for, on top as your front controls. Alright. Let's see. I have uh, the two little uh, CD drives, DVD, RW drives. Okay. So uh, let's go inside the case right here. As you can see, it's a 25 centimeter fan. You open the case up here. I need to open up. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. I have taken a lot of time to do a cable management for this computer because I really wanted it to look good. So as you can see, there's uh, not a lot of uh, wires hanging out, just the core ones that really need to be here, like this uh, the 24 pin power, uh, power wire. Okay, so to start, it's got uh, these two little 90, um, 90 millimeter fans right there, and there's one right there, the exhaust, two exhausts on the back. It also has a 120 millimeter exhaust fan that's blue right there. Um, let's see. Okay, start with my processor. It's an in, uh, Intel Core 2 Duo E8400 at 3.0 gigahertz right now because I haven't really overclocked it. Uh, this is the uh, Asus V60 Vapor Baron cooler for your CPU. It's keeping it really cool right now. I really like it. I'm also using Arctic Silver 5 just as thermal compound. Okay, so for RAM, RAM wise, I have right there Corsair Dominators. Uh, DDR2-1066, they are really nice, really quick RAM. I have the Dominator airflow fan on top to keep those nice and cool. Alright, let's see, um, hard drive wise I have uh, two Western Digital, one for operating system and one for data, so if one dies I'm not completely screwed over. Okay, graphics cards. These are EVGA GTX 260 Core 192. I have overclocked them 35% stable. I must say they are really nice. I've been able to play Crisis on very high. Um, actually, I'll do that for you right now. Let's see, go find Crisis on my desktop. Okay. Well, while that loads, uh, this is a um, right here. It's an Ace. Uh, an ASUS 21 and a half inch widescreen HD 1080p. It's really nice. I just got this the other day. It's beautiful looking. All right. Well, while that's loading, let's go back to the computer. This is a OCZ 850 watt gaming power supply. Okay. Crisis is loading right now. If you can hear that. Okay. I have the uh, Thermaltake GPU cooler down there. So uh, keeps my graphics cards cool. Alright, so let's play a little crisis here. Let's skip all this skip all this stuff. Skip, skip, skip. Okay. Give it a second to load. Alright, here we go. Let's see, it's just to show you that I will be running in very high everything. Start with graphics, uh, resolution was will, will be sixteen hundred by ten twenty four. At 16Q anti-aliasing, I also have V-Sync enabled. Alright, for advanced settings, you can see all my graphics are at very high. So let's uh, load the game real fast. Okay. I'll uh, just go right here. I don't know what this is, but um, let's play it. Okay, let's wait for it to load.
show you my FPS once we get in the game. Usually average between 30 and 60 FPS on very high. It's really nice. Alright. I'll just stand here and play. Alright, yeah, you can see it's all really nice and clear looking. Very high on very high settings. Let's walk around a little bit, show you what I what's up. So you can see uh just show you a little rock texture here and some water. There you go. All looks uh, stellar on the graphics wise. All these cliffs and rocks are really good looking. Alright. So I exit out of this. I'm probably some some of you are wondering uh, how the benchmarks go in this so far. Well I'll show you. I've got screenshots of my benchmarks right here. Well as my 3D mark vantage goes, my score, it is eighteen thousand two hundred and seventy-eight. That's my 3D Mark Vantage score. Uh, GPU was 16,276 and my CPU was 28,973. Okay, my 3D Marker is 6 score, which is right there. Bring it up. It is 14,591 3D Marks. With my uh, SM2.0 score at 6,934. HDR slash SM3.0. 8,240 and my CPU score is 2718. That test is pretty hard to get past without like an i7. Alright. Um, if you're just wondering what kind of mouse I'm using, Razer, uh, Razer Death Aider on top of the uh, Razer uh, Exact Mat with the little rest thing, it's pretty nice. And my uh, Idea Zone ZMark keyboard. With little extra controls over here, it helps you uh, play a little bit better, I think. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed it.